Listen, God ain't lying. God said you are entering into the promised land. He's bringing you up out of that wilderness. Yes, he is. Listen, while I'm here at this open house, I said, let me get some reading done while I'm in between people coming in and out, right? So here I am in the book of Jeremiah. I started with the 45th chapter, right? Now I'm at the 48th chapter. So while I'm reading, this word is so alive up here, up in here, and I'm getting so excited. So I said, let me share with y'all because God is repeating himself. He ain't lying. He's saying that which stood between you and the promised land He's uprooting it. And in this chapter, in verse 40, in, in chapter 48, God is saying how he is destroying Moab. Who is Moab? It's the nation that contended with the children of Israel. And you know what God said about those that contend with his chosen ones. God said that I will contend with those that contend with you. I will curse those that try to curse you, right? That's what's happening. Here in Jeremiah, God is talking about how he has taken Moab out. Listen at this, the 11th verse in the 48th chapter. It says this, Moab had, has been at ease from his youth and he had settled on his lot, on his leaves and have not been emptied from his vessel to vessel. Neither hath he gone into captivity. Therefore, his taste remained in him. And his sin is not changed. What does that mean? It means that the wicked has been doing so much for so long. They think that their wrong is right. And that's why it says this, that they had not changed. Moab had not changed. That his taste remained. Which means what? He didn't have a change of taste to stop bothering the children of Israel. Just like the wicked ones that had stood between you and the promised land. Their taste did not change. Which means what? They still want to be a thorn in your side. Still want to be a hindrance to you. But God is saying that what he's going to do next is going to cause them to be empty. That that calls them to be so secure and be so comfortable in sitting in the wickedness coming up against you. God said he's about to change that. He's about to do a switch of rule. Listen at this, verse 12. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will send unto him wanderers that shall cause him to wander uh -huh, and shall empty his vessels and break their bottles. You see what God says. You know in Psalms 37 how it says that God says, I know the days that I shall laugh for I know the days of the enemy. This is what God is saying. Those days are coming now, y'all. Those that stood between you and your promised land that God has promised you, God is saying that the enemy, the wicked, is being visited now. He's sending wanderers into them to bring confusion to your enemy. And therefore cause them to remove and lose everything that gave them sustainability to work against you. Ain't God word good and alive it is. Listen at this. Verse 13. And Moab shall be ashamed of Chemas as the house of Israel was ashamed of Bethel. Which means what the enemy tried to do to you. Now the enemy, the wicked is about to experience that that it did to you. Listen at this. Verse 16. The calamity of Moab is near to come and his affliction hasteneth fast. God said it is coming swiftly. It is coming quickly unto the enemy. Destruction. Go to verse 42. It says this. And Moab shall be destroyed from being a people because he had magnified himself against the Lord. Listen at 43, which is so good. It says this. Fear and the pit. I said fear and the pit and the snare shall be upon thee, O inhabitant of Moab, said the Lord. He that fleeth from fear shall fall into the pit, and he that get up out of the pit shall be taken in the snare, for I will bring upon it, even upon Moab, the year of their visitation, said the Lord. What is God saying? He is saying there shall be no escape of the wicked. Those that have come against you, that have been used against the enemy. God used by the enemy, in other words. God said they about to get God. They are. They are about to get God. God said if they get away from the fear, he said they ain't going to do nothing but fall in the pit. And if they get up out of the pit, God said now they're going to get caught in the snare. Remember how the word of God says this. He said I will come in like a thief in the night just when the wicked, the enemy think that they are at peace and safe. God said, then sudden destruction 
shall come upon them like a woman in travail with child, and there shall be no escape. That's what's happening. God is saying your enemies now are being visited by him. And I love Psalms 91, how God says this, that you shall see with your own eyes the reward of the wicked, not so that you can rejoice that the wicked is getting got, but so you can see that your God fights for you. God ain't lying. You are entering into the promised land, which means what? That that stood between you and the promised land is being uprooted. I love y'all, and most of all, Jesus loves y'all too. I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all be blessed. Stay blessed. Ciao.